to immigration asylum practitioners a castle a year in the local land oh come you he for he father uh to come up or like by is my name as you may know me from time to time a year me joke in jasha in kotoba john not in my way until i join my people you will be a old jora for jora who joins me to win clearly to come back by you you tell me we could see at the beginning to see anything there it's just pure natural peace and that is part of my 2018 policy not to apply unnecessary uh, sound in the sand into my face there is a lipstick because of the color of my lips and there is eyebrow there but there is no powder no makeup nothing whatsoever this is natural 2018 i want you to join me right now live right now in the studio nigeria 101.1 fm Ewa da kupo, ewa toni. Ti a ba lo atike, ewa toni, ewa da kupo. O ya tes wadu, lori oro bigba igwe igbe lu, o ni ansor e lori, ko yiko pada lori o ta anja ane lori mubo ba, ko de change. La ti jote ala ye ti daye, ni bodas o juwa no ti man wa, ni mo bo ilu ala gbara, ni to lupe ti mo ba ni bodas, there will be no way for them to control the numbers of people that come into the country. So the United Kingdom, as one of the most powerful nation in the world, it is eminent for them to control the borders. Oh, she kwata kipe wongbo do digo bo enu ono mu da da. Di di enu ono nye mu, on lo fa wa hala. It's causing problem for people to enter into the United Kingdom or to continue to, to stay there lawfully because the border has to be controlled. So one talk you border, more than duroti, on lo she control it. Now, not to deceive you or deceive someone else next door to you. We are talking about how to regularize status in the UK, and that is my program over 10 years now. Me or the Yipa that big by way we do own it to me, but but to about you talk about like by you until when your mom is sitting on your knee or immigration because I'm a specialist. We wine and dine with people of caliber and the corridor of power in this particular subject matter. So we are we are certain we know what we are talking about when it comes to advice on immigration and nationality law in the United Kingdom. Now, number <laughs> Taban Soro, thank you, current situation. Diola, you know, when we are talking about, about how to regularize your status, there are several ways. 
of regularizing status in the United Kingdom and several means of coming into the United Kingdom. But a lot of people do not take time to take advice. And the advice you don't take at the beginning, you end up now making you go into a journey of Omoyi strength, go into a journey of 10 years, go into a journey of 8 years. Over the past four or five days, there are some... Okay, let me say that. Let me accept that I resume work on the 4th of January. Since 4th of January till today, this morning, because I've been in the office emergency this morning, I have left my matrimonial home since 7 30 or 8 o'clock this morning on a Saturday just to go and look at people's mistakes. Now, to start with it, the starting point will be to talk about a little and country dollar law, Thermal premium. All of you that usually rush into premium services and, and, and probably want to escape lawyer or escape time. Sherry, sometimes you need to understand that delay is sometimes in the way it's good if it's properly done. Sometimes when you experience delay in your journey, there is a message that you are being told to our listening see in every delay in people's life. Nothing is by accident, but a lot of people are so much in a hurry and in a haste and failed to understand what God is telling them. I am not preaching sermon. I'm a lawyer. What I'm trying to say here is that most of the people that go to the United Kingdom Border Agency, Secretary of State Department, Home Office, to submit their application on a fast lane. It's not that it's cheap for them. It's not cheaper because they paid extra to submit. So I won't say that they are looking for cheap ways. I'm not going to disrespect them in that aspect. I am going to disrespect them, most especially those who went in, who have been previously granted limited leave, discretionary leave, and now saying that they want to make ace of things. You cannot do things faster than God. Every journey in life is projected. If you do things that is not project for you, you are going to, be, to, to regret it. Now, in the past few days, I realized that a lot of people have submitted for premium service. Now, in the history, premium service is supposed to be answered within two days, 48 hours, nay, premium service. Now, the delay they were trying to run away from and not taking those cases through lawyer to assist them, to look at the problem and, and help them, they end up still going inside that delay, still end up in that, in, in that traffic jam. Now, would you, would you agree with me that people that have submitted for premium services since, September, uh, since October, November, do you believe that they haven't received an answer? And the next thing when they will receive an answer to their problem will be to, have to answer, to question their queries, ask them to produce documents after three months of wait, and they have provided, they have paid for premium, which means that they paid twice or thrice of the normal money. Now, if you look at it carefully, that money they will have utilized it to pay lawyer service and get a solid advice and move on smoothly. My father used to tell me something. Only you don't come boji on whom I dey be. And what you about lay a grief? Oh, you come boji on whom I dey be. And that you about in sare 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 woman sare jolon long time and she mistake ni. Now I want to pay when you want a lot premium service. To want to repay and we offer any delay, you know, we offer any problem. They end up coming into that delay. Now let me give you a typical example of how stupid people can be when it comes to submission of application to the Secretary of State and the dirty advice they are giving them. About any and about Tasilara, come and fish it, you know. Today, about lost all dollar, but I'm not going to Tasilara. Listen carefully. When you have been granted twice a discretionary leave to remain, listen. A discretionary leave to remain means that I am using my power to allow you to come to my house. Discretion, it is not mandatory. So therefore, the discretion that I use at the time to allow you to come in, I am telling you that it's still in place for you because I have not changed my mind on you individually as my friend. But the situation here is that when you are taking advice, Ogorogba advice, to first and in to kuju oshunwani, Nigba ti en to fe to ti gba discretionary leave la meji to fe wa lule lo fun indefinite leave to remain ti lawyer o le advice here wi pe e ko gba document o ko e da ni ti o ba tun gba yen da ni omo to ti pe odun mewa nko e mu ba certificate e si e mu anything ni pa omo yen e fi sinu document yen how do you expect the secretary of state agent to grant such application how do you expect them to grant it and I've been telling people categorically that the way I operate, I operate in a manner that it's, it's just like as if I am working for the Secretary of State 
so that we can get the problem out. But I'm working for you so that you will not be refused when you are going to them. So I operate in a way that I sift your problem before putting it forward to them for a grant of status. Now, the document was submitted to the Secretary of State agent on a premium service. Nikbat, one good document and love for Secretary of State agent. On to shell and we pay on my dumb wa wa no in a do ye. On my dumb wa ye won't ye a few ordinary bad certificates ye see. But on love for indefinite leave to remain. Emma bow won't the law apply for one ye for natural registration to become a UK citizen or the meji. Ele keta on my was part of the application from the onset of the three three years discretionary leave. Want your passport or money? Say me. Want your biometric card or money? It wasn't included either. So, the guy that has, that the father of the child, which is the ex partner, was not in support of the application anymore. So therefore, none of his documents feature in the application, and it went in for for a, a, a premium. So who who will be thinking from that direction? And expect me to grant that status. I won't grant it. I won't grant it. Because discretionary leave to remain means that you must revert back to the policy or guidance available at the time of the application. So the person, the, the, the caseworker was clever enough. And for the God, the, 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 the glory of God to assist here. Object won't bear further information. Another another caseworker would have refused it. Could I say Otoma The reason being is that at the time the application was going in, even if the information of the ex-partner was not available, the information of the 10-year-old child that was born in the UK that had the three years discretionary leave twice must be in the application. Her birth certificate, her passport, her biometric card, her details supposed to be in the document. It wasn't enclosed. In Koto Jibbe Milo's office, Laro in here. Because the premium service has returned back to her and said, Listen, I need all this information within 14 days. Remember that we have Christmas break. So 14 days is going to elapse on Monday for her or Tuesday, basically. And if a lawyer, a good lawyer does not get involved in that kind of situation, or Melena Ma Jegun, or Malash Ma Wa Kisa. And that is the reason why I involved straight away. I said, listen, you cannot handle this case anymore. Jack in Bamoso, Lori Paper. King Shala Yeri Ajui. And that is the reason why I, I quickly went to office today because they called me and said, listen, we are ready for you. Can you come and take on this case and let us respond back to the Secretary of State? Lord just after studio law. Of course I have to go to office on Saturday, but we call a woman. So I, I quickly drive out of the house and went in there to go, and, to go and meet her. Getting there, the same reason why they are still having that delay wasn't available. But I told them that it's not essential. It's not an essential ingredient. Koshe Pataki. Because the Yemeji Banja wants no relationship to her, to her, to her, to her, to her, to her important one, one, it be documented, I want to let. So the Secretary of State should be thinking from that angle. When two people are not in accord anymore, of course they will be protecting each other's properties from each other. So they're not going to release information again uh, for, for each other. So for, for, for Secretary of State agents to be asking her to provide her ex-partner's passport, it is impossible from experience. It is impossible. So therefore, I need to get involved and make a legal representation, solid one. That is what I went in to do today. But the advice I want to give you, my friends out there, is that don't make mistake to think that you want to go for premium service. Don't make that mistake and go for premium service without taking advice from someone like me. I'm not saying go and take advice from someone else. Come and take advice from somebody who has experience of my standard. Because at the end of the day, my letter head has gone with it now. So they have seen my hand into that work. Now, it is impossible for anyone that wants to obtain indefinite leave to remain. 
that was granted discretionary leave previously to go in independently without subordinates, without assistance of either the 10-year-old child or the ex-partner. That kind of application, Konia Sassinino, it will not succeed. But thank God for having his way when he wants to have his way. He made them ask for more further information so I can get involved straight away. And that's exactly what happened here. Had they not get not asked for further information, that case will have been thrown out of out of office and then taken to court and wait for another 18 months before it can be heard before a judicial uh, senior person in the UK. You know, but that, that is not the proper way of doing things. And this is an opportunity for all of you that are online there. Thank you, Emmanuel. For everyone online there, to know that because your friend said something doesn't mean you should follow your friend. Your friend is not a legal practitioner specialized in immigration and nationality law. So there is no need. There is no need for you to rely on your friend. Please share this program and let people take knowledge from it. This is very important to me because there is no need for them to be making the same mistake all the time. This is a serious mistake that can cost somebody with status to end up being without status. Someone that has traveled in and out of the United Kingdom with free enjoyment can end up stuck in the UK for another 10 years if care is not taken on the issue of premium service. I am not saying you should be giving your work to lawyer, but if you don't take advice before submitting it yourself, because you are not a qualified immigration specialist, so there is no way you can handle this matter yourself. So the whole idea is to let people know that I want to encourage you before you're doing premium service, let us look into your application. Let us even do the representation for you and hand it over to you as your life. That by that time, I will have seen all the problems. I will have advised you. I will have tell you these are the things that you should put in. These are the things that you should take out. These are the things that they're expecting from your end. That application that went in was wrong to have gone in. And let me tell you, she was advised by somebody who called him or herself a legal practitioner in the United Kingdom. So, but most of them were interested in going in here because they wanted to give me the name of the person that advised them. But I said I'm not interested because I have a lot of things to do in life to focus on and focusing on people's mistakes. You know, the crucial part of it is that you should be aware that you should take advice before you are going for premium service. Premium service is a quick way of getting your status granted. For La Usheni, premium service is a faster way of making, submitting application directly to the Secretary of State and getting reply back. Somebody might refuse to say, no, camera is up there. So if you are doing a spouse, applic spouse application and you don't go in with your partner, they're going to refuse you because the camera is there and they're watching you on the day of submission. So you are more likely to be refused by moron. That is the basic talk of it. And this is what I've been saying over 10 years now. By moron. Koto be we be wole. To buy fair wole, gang wasi UK. Tabi fair mu ye, wole fair mu babe wole. By moron. That is one problem of scenario. I'm live on 07908-628240 or 07496-936110. I'm in the United Kingdom. Niger 101.1 FM studio, you can see. Happy New Year to all of you, my friends, just coming on board. Happy New Year. Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year. So, I want you to follow me on. Lawyer to Kumbolak Baye is not a joke. The crucial thing is that I want you to understand. No, you are not late. It's not, we're not far. You know, I want you to understand what is going on in terms of submitting an application to the Secretary of State directly. And that's why I quickly raised that up. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Same to you. Me, brother, that me go. Definitely to remain. 
eh me lo ti ni eh ko to the first discretionary she o ti ni we gbe lutele abi ko ni ko ti le gba to ba gba indefinite ko ti le gba british passport ni sen but there is no time to continue on that on that sentence but ko ti le gba indefinite leave ni sen to ba fe gba advice Any call or come by advice, love is. I need to pick up the call for another person. Me, you do all the time. Am I being no? Time will come. Yeah. All right, bye. We have to be very short and you know, but we have to be very short. That's okay. That's fine. I'm gonna be very, very quick. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, yeah, sir. Same to you. Yeah. It's your because I can put you through the application. You need to submit and then you can almost you want to use me. But uh, that all of you no lorry case you got to apply. It definitely not if you no lorry. That's the card you uh, apply for. And yeah, we'll be right. Eh, what did you Eh, what consultation on your Monday? I am starting office on um, fr on Monday at seven thirty in the morning because of Amato Shishé. Okay, okay. So, telephone number o two o eight three zero nine eight eight o eight. Every Monday, I I open to public seven thirty a.m. So if you are out there, every Monday, you will be able to catch me up in the office on consultation from 7.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. That is the new program now, every Monday. So anybody, you can me, you book appointment, you come and see me. Now, the, the gentleman is saying that they applied for permanent residence. He was refused on indefinite leave to remain. I have to look at the tone of the caseworker first before I can say any other thing. Because at the end of the day, both of them are more or less the same thing. But then, we have to look at the tone of the letter to see whether they use immigration rules instead of using European regulations. And that is where we will catch the caseworker. So, the owner of that, the caller of that uh, thing, you need to book appointment and see me in the office on Monday. And let's have a look. Do not apply, uh, appeal it now until I look at it. Don't make mistake. My love appeal needs to get in bed with they can find any more me on the call or the lawyer but let me look at it first before you move on into appeal process okay good luck who do we have here hello hello yes 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 go go on go on please yeah go on same to you sir thank you um, okay. I'm very partner that I'll choose Okay. Okay. You have a partner. Are you saying you have a partner? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, and where, where is she from? She's Nigerian, I suppose. She's from Nigeria. What nationality or what passport is she holding at the moment? Nigerian passport. Oh, what pa what, what uh, passport are you holding then? I'm still in my Nigerian passport. I've got my indefinite. You, you are what? I've got my indefinite. I'm still in my uh, Nigerian passport. Okay, so you are in the United Kingdom? Yes, ma'am. And, she, and she's in Nigeria, yeah? No, she's here. She's here. But I want to know. How long has she? How long has she been in the UK for? Um, for about thirty years. I won't let her go to Nigeria. Okay. Do you have kids together? No. No. Eighteen. Eighteen. Ben. I me love you, Sergio. Book appointment and come and see me, please. Okay. Please, Sergio. Thank you. The telephone number to reach me on in the office is zero two zero eight three zero nine. Double eight zero eight zero two zero eight three zero nine double eight zero eight. Or you know what I'm having with me on Mondays. I am open to public from 7 30 a.m. So you'll be able to come for consultation if you are going to work every Monday and Thursday, 7 30 a.m. I can remember on my from my head here that it opens from 7 30 Monday and Thursday. You will be able to catch me up. Hello. Yes, hi. Yes, hi, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Castle, Hello, Hello. Uh, Castle, I'm going to call you. 
this matter i'm not teaching you bad thing you know that card speaks a lot that means you don't have restriction on public funds so not to use public funds uh, so let us offer you standard no love for you mistake in here one i'll copy and paste and i actually agree on that one copy and paste in she, let me let me ask you one question. She are you take previous leave to remain? Tell me. Then, ma, continuation. So, eh, uh, the eh, uh, the new condition of no recourse to public funds. Tell me. No, ma. It was a mistake. That letter must be a mistake. Yes, ma. Mm. So you should proceed. Come back, challenge it, then you return it back to the home office to to challenge their letter, as well. But at the moment, there is no need for you to send the letter back. Carry on with your card. Card is very important. All right. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear. Take care, bye. Hello? 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 Hello, Happy New Year, ma. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Not to you, ma. I do pay a lot of loan. Yes, ma. And your friend, do you need a question for you? Go ahead, Hello. please. Go ahead. What type of uh, application was it before? Um, family leadership. Any partner? Partner, only two and a half years. Any No, British. Show me two and a half years, but you Kini yeah. document uh, submit the last level and kini we lawyer about also. Oh, do I want immigration? One more member back So one has to be late. So lawyer will have to be speaking very well. One more well. One receive. One receive again. Let me read. Let me read the notice of decision. The reason why you were refused is important to me. I'll be able to determine whether that case will go smoothly in court or you are just buying time. Yes, if you want that reassurance, I will ask you to bring in the um, notice of decision. I take you to my office in against him. Then I'll be able to advise you what to tell your lawyer to prepare for before court date. All right. Yeah. So I will book an appointment to come and see you then. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. yeah bye. It is a live program right now on Niger 101.1 FM. My name is Tokumbo Lagbaye. I am a joke in Jasha. Big by way, we will last all in Lori. I am a little bit of a book, but I told you, I want to be a way, baby, and go found to me. You told me about the way you mean, my mom to my shell, who told you what we were in the phone. You told me to move out to stop, we buy in the bed and get married because I want to borrow. Exactly how it is, is exactly what I will tell you that you need to know. So, that is not true of Tokumbo Lagbaye. It is me. I am a senior legal practitioner in the United Kingdom and I'm a senior solicitor in the UK. I am not a junior solicitor. I am a senior solicitor in the United Kingdom. So I am a qualified lawyer. So me, Okinishi, lawyer, la belly, don't manage. I am not managing. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a 
Yeah, I want better to say that this only in the UK. Am I right, baby? Exactly. So you have to spend seven years. She's seven look when I would you better. Can you take BC Island? Kill your tag, but we like to do it. Eh. Eh, book appointments, can worry me zero two zero eight. 309 8808 checking to pay for me 0208 309 8808 yes my double 808 egboro gba we Mm, so money control of the phone call as well. He secretary to Wally. Yeah. And she buy. Here is a live program on Nigeria 101.1 FM. You can see this program is important. Look at the young lady that just called. She's under on drugs, so she's a young lady. <laughs> she 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 has a child that was born in, in Ireland 12 years ago. Now, the child cannot obtain Irish passport because they are now in the United Kingdom. And now in the United Kingdom, they have not applied to even get paper. Because But information is power. When you have information, you know that you cannot get it wrong anymore. Because we are And I stand corrected. When I tell you things regarding law, I stand corrected because it's confirmed. No, this of you chose to know me. I've been chosen to know me. No, I will tell you exactly what you need to know. Hello? Hello? You are speaking directly with me. Hi. You want to do what? Way forward for what? You are calling. You are calling from Nigeria, so you are not in in the UK. So, what exactly do you want to hear from me? You want to do what? My question now is that I want to travel. I have to do what do you call it? Immigration visa. Can I go three times? I don't think any of us, either myself or anyone online, can hear you properly. I think there is a problem okay, with, com with communication there, so we need to address that first. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. My, 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 my question is I was recently refused. Uh, uh, you, were refused en you, you were refused entry into the United Kingdom. Yes. Are you calling from UK or from outside? No, from outside. And then you, you said you were you, you were refused what? The application was received for passport. Yeah, that is entry. If you are outside, yeah. it means you are you being refused to enter into the United Kingdom. Yeah. And if you have spouse visa, uh, if you made spouse visa application and you were refused with what i always said on my facebook uh, blog what you will need to do is to request for my email and you will scan me you will scan me i will read it but i'm not going to advise you until you pay consultation fee into the account 
you have come to me in Nigeria. No, in the UK. Were you in the United Kingdom before you went to Nigeria? Yes, yes. Uh, different matter, you know, if you are being refused and you're in Nigeria now, and no, it's a different matter entirely. So what you would need to do, you want to find a way to scam me. Oh my God. Do you have right of appeal? Yes. You do have right of appeal. So good news. Mm. Now you need to... My question is uh -huh. okay, Mungbo. My main question is that, so, like, the letter came back from me in the UK, I have to say, this is a this is something that I if I put that, something that I that da, uh, you can come, you can come in and then appeal that inside. Uh, I, I think you should be able to. In the past, I have seen people that they allow them to enter because you have previous visa and they didn't, um, um, they didn't cancel that. Uh, it wasn't cancel. Uh, still not they know. Still they know. Uh, you, you, you can enter United Kingdom under your uh, um, visitor's visa to appeal that decision. But bear it in mind, when you are waiting, in the process of waiting for that appeal, hmm, I think what you have to do is to allow lawyer to appeal that decision as if you were in, the, in Nigeria. Because if they appeal it as if you are in the UK, you are going to overstay your visit visa. And if you overstayed your visit visa, it means you have disregarded the law again on visa on a visit visa, and they will use it against you in court. And if you submitted appeal in the UK and you are, you left without them completing the appeal in your presence, the law says that it's an abandon of appeal. So you abandon that appeal. That's what the law is saying. So you are a bit in a situation that you are in between. So even if you come to UK with visit visa, fair enough, but the, but the appeal must be treated from outside as if you were outside. So your, your wife must give instruction to do the appeal for you in the United Kingdom. But you must come and go back. So the appeal will have to attend in, the, in your absence. So your, your wife will attend, will have attend it in your absence. You cannot be there because appeal is not fast anymore. And if you are going to be there, you are going to be out of six months visa. And you will overstay your reason for coming in. And it will go against your record. So that's just it. Okay? Are you with me? Hello? Hello? Are you still with me? No, no, no. This is new caller. New caller. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello? Yes, let's know that. I, I just want to ask a quick one. If someone is going to nationalize and uh, in November you come to ten, 10 years, they have got indefinitely, when can she put in the application? It, this November we see the person with 10 years of holding a indefinite stay. Yes, I know. Yes, if she does it in 2008, November. You mean that, that indefinite leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so immediately one day after November, you should just proceed. Is after, not if she can do it before November. Unless if he has status before 2008, ILR was granted. Okay, what happened with the indefinite that was given was a 14 years rule? So he cannot stay, he cannot hang around until after that 10 years completed. Okay, he has to be. Day after, November. after 10 years of the anniversary okay, yes. okay. That, that's fine so it has to be 10 years exactly 10 years in November and that person is supposed to have applied in 2013 5 years rule Why? are you sure? yes, Am you're I... supposed to have applied in 2013 under 5 years rule for indefinite leave to remain on a long I residence it's, I thought you said it's 10 years it's now 10 years from, the, from 2014 Oh, you see what I mean? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I understand what you're saying. Mm. So, but if she made the application, she can be refused unless she has to wait. She will be refused and lose money. What, of, what use of losing one thousand two hundred ninety-three pounds? Don't you know how much the exchange rate is in Nigeria? Four eighty yeah. to one. Okay. So she was meant to have applied in two thousand and thirteen. And since she since she has not applied in two thousand and thirteen for her five um, years lawful residence. She has lost that. So she so will need to wait. That's why she's waiting for 
10 years exactly. ago now. 10 years will be this year. And the application has to make after November is now. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Happy You're welcome. welcome. Hello. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hi, please. Yeah. Ekasa. I'm sent to you, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't kill us, I mean, boy. Look, you're almost 16 years. Hey, mama, quite a tag in me. Hey, mama, quite a tag in me. Anyway, my daughter, you know, my daughter, I'm in your office now. Please, please proceed. Please proceed. Yes, I'm only, I'm only, you know, to get me on one in three years. Only, only. You have to show access rights to those children. Yeah. You have to show access. You have to show that you are maintaining your children. It's not automatic. And I don't think it, it has ever been. You know, you have to show access rights. A book appointment, you can have a consultation office. I must say, I'm going to go to the salon. Yes, 0208. 0208. And our Facebook line, can we phone number? I'm going to pin it. Oh, okay, okay. 0208. Okay, 0208. 309. Anyway, who is the next person online? We are talking about how to regularize your status in the United Kingdom. For anyone that wants to book appointment to see me, we are on 0208 309 8808. 8808. Yes, 8808. That is the number we are on. Yes. What's the problem? Thank you so much. Yeah, take care. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello, ma. I'm still going to talk about that when I have time with regards to the men that want to have access to their kids that have status in the UK and the woman is depriving them from having it. It's both ways. It's not one-sided. We have to look at both sides and see exactly what went wrong in that relationship. I have a story that I said is coming out and it's going to be loud. I just don't want to do it on Nigeria 101 because Nigeria 101.1 FM is pure law. So this is made for pure law. But anytime outside this pro this studio, I will bring it out on my reality talk. It's going to be loud because the owner of that scenario has given me go ahead. Oh, them are lying, no? Oh, my lying, no? Hello? Hello, Send to you, dear. Long say you will be back. More than years, you must simply apply this is back from our money. Two thousand and thirteen. Leg back, leg by Last I think I'm a Then, can you talk about Hey, let's take my British passport. Next, you share him. But share my egg. But I'm my egg. But settlement, Abi. Two ways. Let me tell you, I'm share two ways. Because one, one in this settlement, so one of our cut up, but we were there after years waiting here, because someone under application here. And there is every possibility for woman fair be reloaded. But you call the point. Another point again is that there is chance for them to go into re into application straight away with British passports because you have settlement status already now. Okay. So when they when they apply under you, provided they are born in the United Kingdom and they are all after two thousand and six. Okay. Okay. Uh, because the first one was two thousand and seven. Okay. And the 
2009. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should be able to go in for the British passport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten years, nothing from the date of grant. Okay. Yes. Okay. passport from British passport. You don't have to because they got a settlement already. Mm. No problem. It be by letter. We must want a British birth certificate. Yeah, or catch up. Because I want to move in and go to the British passport. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well done. Bye. Hello. Hello. Let me quickly respond back to my friends and family here. On on the what is it called here? Hello. Uh, uh, hold on, please. I'm my brother down on to a line low. I do a man be no. Okay. Idowu Ajibala says anybody that have a child born in Ireland twelve years ago is automatically Irish citizen. Twelve years ago is two thousand and five. You know, not to judge the code here. According to the information I received about Irish citizen, I love you so much. Thank you. According to yeah, please wait, please wait. We I want to respond to online people first. According to information I have at hand, automatic gone in 2005 anymore. And 12 years ago was 2006 now. So it's no more automatic. I think the automatic status ended around 2002 or 3. So not 2005. So if I you, please don't give advice on my line unless you are a qualified lawyer. I don't want to be responsible for wrong advice. So please, please. <laughs> Okay, whose question again did I? Can you handle case in the United States of America? If it's something to do with my United Kingdom Secretary of State, of course I am volatile. I will do that. I have no problem. I can even fly into the U.S. and deal with the Antonis on handling those cases. In, in the past, I have assisted the Antonis in the United States on the United Kingdom immigration law with the situation of a citizen of the United Kingdom in the U.S., I have fly in so many times to the U.S. to assist, so it is not a problem at all. As long as it's something to do with United Kingdom immigration and nationality law, I am more than competent to fly out and deal with it. So don't worry. So you need to explain to me further to let me know exactly what we are talking about, DG Stephen. Thank you. Give me a second. The person on the, on online. Let me quickly answer this person back. Ade Migule Akim Ade Wolu asks a question Is ECO visa same as settlement visa? ECO means entry clearance officers. It's a short way of calling them for lawyers. ECO, entry clearance officers. Those are the guys that stamp you, that give you visa and your passport overseas to come to United Kingdom. We call them entry clearance officers. That is the name the government gave them. So lawyers call them ECOs to short it because it takes a lot of our mouth. So we call them ECO. So ECO is not the same as settlement. Settlement is why you are in the UK. You are granted permanent status to continue to live here as you like without stepping on the stakeholders' toes. ECO is the name for the officers granting visas outside the United Kingdom. Thank you. Yes, hello. Hello, please carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening to you. And happy new year, ma'am. Same to you, dear. Same to you. God bless you for all the work you've been doing. Thank you so much. My name is Edna. I'm calling in respect of my husband. Okay. I was child root, 10 years child root, but he's still on visiting visa. Okay. Yes. We are planning to revitalize it. We don't know. I just said that he's still with his kids and husband. You try to give um citizen visa to the advantage. And how long has it been in the UK for? For three years, so the visa is left still remaining. It's not remaining anymore. Even all the ten years multiple visa only allows individual to stay in the UK less than six months. Yes, ma'am. Because it says one hundred and eighty days on a small tiny place. If you look at the Passport, you will see there 180 days, even though it's 10 years visa. 
So the person has overstayed already. Now, do you have child together? No child together, but I have a daughter. And daughter. you have a British daughter, and you too, you are a British citizen. No, I'm not. What do you have? So you're on two and a half years as well. Yes. And he wants to apply under you guys. Yes, because we are married now. But don't forget that you were granted limited leave to remain as a single parent. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Why don't you take more advice? Book appointment and see me in the office, please. I I will okay. suggest yes. Yeah, I, I, I think it's appropriate to book appointment and see me in the office. I think it's the best way to move forward. Yes, yeah. Thank you, my God bless you. You must welcome there. You must welcome. Yeah. Now, what is going to happen is that in a few minutes' time, I will move slightly from studio, but I will carry on the same way, the same manner, but I will move a bit aside so that studio can proceed. And Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> You can carry on now. <laughs> okay, carry on, yes, hello. Hello. I can hear you, yes. Hello, I can't hear you. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, I can hear you. Please proceed. I will, um, a book appointment, say my defense also public. Not serving, yes. I'm going to cut it, cut it. Book appointment on 0208 309 8808. Yeah. I don't think consultation money will kill you. Please, let's cut it and book an appointment to see me. Hello? Hello? Thank you, ma. Thank you. I love you too, ma. Hey, Jemma, I love you too, Right, okay. I can't remember why I need to ask for a look for a but uh, to be honest, me, the lady finger and back, we be a mum, 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 But mum, 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 mum,
If I was in UK, she won't refuse money. But she will say appeal from visa and I refuse. If I will not refuse money. One that one visit visa one down. the best way forward, the best way forward, make a word is such a refuse. Can I avoid the problem in the next time? So if you have time, any call email, yes, you can take consultation alone, go to the apply. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, take care, bye. We are live, we are straight away on Facebook now. We are no more in the studio program. So we are now continuously on the Facebook between two of us, between all of us together. Let's enjoy our hour. Hello. Same to you there, same to you. Yes, hello, carry on. Okay, I can hear you. Oh, check in. By indefinite leave to remain, Nigba. Because all the leave to let the lay, so to hear ye. Do you understand? There is evidence that the person may have granted or the person or the person has permanent residence on a different level entirely. To buy a two and a half years, make it a let the code So that is the thing. But the law remains unless home office but states here clearly. To buy that thing, but two and a half years say tell that two and a half years for 10 years, of course, we automatically allow him immediately after indefinite leave to remain to apply for in, to apply for naturalization. So there is no need to argue blindly in that respect. The question somebody is asking here is that is married by prosy to EU citizens still working ma? Is married by prosy? So EU citizens still working? No, it's not working. Long time ago, you know, long time ago, married by proxy, long time ago, so it's not working anymore. I don't deal with Canadian asylum, sorry. I gave back to my children in London, in UK. Please, madam, I need your advice. Okay. If you need my advice, please watch out for the phone number online. The numbers are correct as it's written. 
0909-8808-0208-309-8808. The numbers are correct as it is written. And then the mobile number is 07908 628240. Of course, the numbers are correct. <laughs> I've been watching for about two years now. Thank you. Stanley Lulu, I told you, okay. Did you know anything about US? No. La Bambo, you do watch it. Thank you. Mark Conjola, I've been trying to call. Where well, the line is busy, so you can keep on trying. If someone came into Canada through US to seek for asylum in Canada, I don't deal with Canadian law. You know, I'm so proud to be in Nigeria. God bless you for the job you are doing. It is, it is well with you, Akala Abiodun. I am proud. Thank you, Akala Abiodun. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ade Shiwaton Olaji Remi. I'm wearing your G. Thank you so much, Ade Shiwaton Olaji Remi. Can you please share this program and let people benefit from it? It is so important to me that people benefit from this program. This program is not just for for fun of it. This program is not just to argue blindly. This program is to educate people so that people will know exactly what they need to do in terms of submitting an application to the Secretary of State, in terms of when they are coming into the United Kingdom, in terms of, you know, when, to know when to submit an application. When the government say 10 years, they mean 10 years. There is no automatic or loop way. When the government say 10 years, they mean 10 years. They are not going to change it. So if you were granted, it means that you must be a student and then continue under discretionary leave. That is when you can be granted straight away after indefinite leave to remain. And then perhaps there are letters stated. If there are letters stated that you should apply a year after, it means that you, are, you have applied under European regulation, you know. And if it's under European, hello? Hello? But if you know, we Nigeria and Eshe. Show one the UK, Nima. Okay, am I not lost office? Me, am I not lost office? Mileko. It's at Darani, Georgia, Riyogba. I just give you number. Sorry, be by ma. Let me leave Nigeria number here. Benima, Benima. So Nigeria number one, Benima. Eh. Oh, near out out to Okay, okay, bye. You don't vouch for what you are not clear with. We vouch for what we are clear with because we whine and die in the corridor of power on immigration and nationality law in the UK. And bear it in mind, before immigration and nationality law, I have whined and dined in conveyance property law. So my hand has extended into all those areas, you know, buying and sell, selling properties for people in a high position i have represented a lot of people to buy and sell properties in the uk as a conveyancing property lawyer in the united kingdom i have dealt with some of the eligible harabs in the uk some of the properties at blue water and uh, base water we have assisted them to purchase we have helped to buy some of the properties at thames made and we have represent banks when they were abbey national satanda now we have assisted them. Bank of Scotland, part of Halifax, we have helped them. Mortgage Express, Northern Rocks, we have wine and dine with bankers in this country. We have purchased and sell properties for people that have coins in the bank. So when we moved smoothly into immigration and nationality law, it was as a result of the credit crunch, economic turbulence in 2007. But regardless of the turbulence in 2007, Believe me or not, God expanded me in a way that I was shocked. 
regardless of the turbulence only your bash man palo we pe ta ba gun yan ninu odo ka se be sinu epo epa believe me and told my you are yo eni ti o ni yo ni yo ka fi ogbon se le aye bo se wo ko le to eyan je amu ninu rin ajo yen eyan mo pe je si o mu gba fo ni o de to ba de gba fun yan o gba fun yan ni yen bo se wo ko le to regardless of how difficult it was then so i am still going to encourage my clients my fans that out there you need any advice either purchasing property in nigeria or in the united kingdom come to me first because a meeting shield you remote automotive are tired believe me but in terms of purchasing and selling in nigeria we just started that is why i said some of the projects that have been abandoned we are going back onto them in nigeria and it's going to be finished within six months all of them within six months of this January 2018, I want projects come with that bit to focus on the coming. I want you to have a and we are going to complete them. So I don't want you to be relent in this 2018. I want to encourage you, my fellow Nigerians in the diaspora. I want to aspire you. I want you to know that I am not just a lawyer. I am not just a lawyer. When you practice law, you should be able to take advantage of what is inside law. What I grab as part of the advantage of my advocacy skills is property, investment in properties. When you see people bringing that instructions to you to buy for them to sell on their behalf, it's, it's inspire you to say, ah, I mean, now. and that's how I started my career in investment. So I want to encourage you to invest. Invest without looking back, especially when you look at the time being now. The exchange rate is 480 to 1. It means that when you put 2,200 together, or more one million my drone on like it but i want to struggle by it and that's it my was six six thousand pounds but only one million young by it so they easy with a late 30 30 million nigeria but it's very well but this thing to about work hard and your mama calculate 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 and what's it to know she mortgage in nigeria and say i don't know how far that is true but anybody that wants to buy or sell in nigeria please pass through me first pass through me because at ring control law we have now seen the in and out of that business. So I want to that team why they come especially in Lagos State. Aba, kusajo jile kuma o, kusajo jima taba ti la yen lo un, non la milo un ne o. Ngo to deke mi na agboni yen, kusajo jile kuma yeko we jele. Ah yeko, wagba mi magba eni o, ajo agba rari ani. You understand? Eko ke, eko mi ya mi, mi fere eko. I salute you guys. One bow, one bow, one bow, you know, one bow, one bow, anybody. Tight up your belt. We have moved away from the regularization. We are now encouraging people that are in the diaspora. When you want to go and invest in Nigeria, because we control England already. At least now, in back in shape, in the last ten years now, at we are now seeing it clearly. So I want to encourage you: before you buy or you sell or you even rent your property out in Nigeria, don't forget my company in Nigeria deals with all these things because it's a consulting company, which means that apart from giving advice, people who consult me on immigration, on visas to enter, to come to everywhere, to say to, I also advise on properties. I also get hands into other senior, senior advocates of Nigeria. Some sons are at my back. I want son to come on me, to look quietly. I will call the music. Those senior advocates of Nigeria, they control the Alausa sectariat. So it is in their hands. I want you to me a billet or I want you to make a sock with the sorry table GM, the sorry table director, yeah. But I want to share your mind below. So we know what we are doing. Please, Emma Bosowa, yeah, Emma Bosowa, allow me. Emma fellow, I live in Nigeria. Consult to come back like by you. I will advise you. And if you send me with your money, it's in a safe hand. Allow me, I'm not afraid to be like power man. Oh, possible. That's no way. No way to reach it, me. Possible. My time is here. Share the code. Share the line. Line. Allah Mamua. So I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Anything you are doing, please don't give up. Don't give up at all. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Castle. Castle. Yes, sir. Shaking here. Shaking here. 
Benny, Benny. Life not lawa, life lawa. Indefinite leave to enter as a as a child of a parent of a British person. But it's not it is not that going to be easy. A quote me, Dada. This, Be on my six pay sixteen is here again. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my yes, sixteen is in shall apply for. Okay, so clear what Shelly is saying. Entry clearance. Uh, entry, cl entry clearance is the officer's name. He has to go as a book. He has to go in the park together. Yes. Because I've asked this, she feel not so. Tell if I send this, see. Hey, get it. And she been back. She been back. your document. I'm asking assess set on leko. One one that part of one applicant or the guardian. One one you can post it. It's Sheffield, the UK. Ni. Chat here, ni. All right. Hi, ma. I want to know my status as an EU resident working for three years. Ooh. Maybe information like that, that will, this is the problem. Let me use other phone to read your messages here and see if I can respond as a matter of urgency. Okay. Um hello. Yes, sir. I'm you. Okay. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, expanding. Uh, Hey, do you have to back at Benny, she be only on my leg, Bassi. Eh, but she any visa to get to any lift to like to apply. In the in like Balati Bear be. Okay, okay. Yes. 
Yes, so you are next to apply for your indefinite leave to remain. Uh, yeah, two and a half meji. Uh, so she mag back on see you. Okay, yes. She mag back on see. Uh, she mag back on see. So you can submit by September ending or first week in October, depending on the date that is going to expire in November. Yes. Benny, Benny. Cause the problem, is she gone? Hello. Yes, so I can sir. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Amen. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sherry, the, 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 the crucial thing, the, the crucial thing in that kind of scenario is to be able to show documentation to corroborate evidence. Sherry, the document about what? Who convinces the judge enough? Don't forget judge is independent. So they are not partial, they are impartial. So you will need to you and ad, you and your advocate will need to convince them beyond reasonable doubt. So to hear me, latterly assist because without doubt it's going to be difficult. But once there is enough evidence to convince, then the rest is easier. Yeah. Okay, dear. Yeah. I take care. Bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye bye, dear. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hey, Kasno. Thank you.
Every month, let me check in here, so. No, six months, six months, but your lab is in February. Mm-hmm. And the next month is not for lab this month. But shall you teach about metric? And tell about the biometric that is fine. Sherry, the delay that is there now has nothing to do with lawyer. It's just general from the home office itself. So I will advise that you should just carry on wait, waiting. But I will advise that you seek your lawyer's um, advice and send a day written to the home office to find out, to ask for an update, which is crucial after six months of submission. Yeah. Ben, Ben, after six months. Yes. Th that is fine. Shake in here. Check about it by indefinitely. All depend the condition to let I about what let I any care look out for. Eh. So today, let us any care look out for because there are some situations that they grant them after after a year of obtaining that permanent residence, and there are some situations that the home office insists we rather be on the phone. Oti lo shi shela any time to eko shi shela. Home office to to passport they refuse to let it grant naturalization here. But the law is saying categorically, on top of the salary 2014, if we want to ten years lawfully, and to about to overstate and let. But I want EA, you know, convinced or confusing. I want EA family member, you know, home office man grants in naturalization one, Larry Khan. But one man refuses and one cannot. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Please, can you share this video on your wall for me? God will promote you. You know I am not new in the system anymore, but I think there are some information that is crucial for our friends and family to receive from this end, especially when it comes to how to regularize status. So please, the only way to assist them is to share me on your wall and let them see what I am saying. It says by their foot we shall know them. Let them hear it from the horse's mouth. Don't give them any advice. When they ask you, just tell them, go and call her or go and watch her clips. Even on YouTube, this is going on YouTube now today. As soon as I get to my boss, he will put it on YouTube for me. So am I worried? I've been nice to people, so they are going to do the YouTube work for me today. So you just have to, the only way is that you just have to assist them to have the information at the tip of, of their fingers. And the only way to have that information at the tip of their fingers is you when you share it on your wall. Your friends of 4,000, 3,000 will also see it. And they too will share it. So always encourage people to share my program, how to regularize your status in the United Kingdom. Or Lori Big Bay Way Belune, but when to Baba and the diaspora, who sent to fake Bessie Ajo, who see between that Bile, even I was not busy United Kingdom. At the end of the day, Ibadu Tang Warai Koye and Badu Mamilara or Temilano, Ibadu Kawa and Nue Koye, Tanya Boda Magbad to Balu Lower, who the Sipoy King and New Way and Lower in London, Kumari Luni Night, Kulma Luni Nigeria. Nigeria is the same way to be able to do it. Nigeria is the same way to be able to do it. Nigeria is the same way to be able to do it. Understand it? Because the rooms are bigger in Nigeria, the compound is big. So you have place to move to freely. The only problem in Nigeria is a security problem. But other than that, I must tell you that, Ejo, let us continue to encourage each other. Egbe we wole wari to kumbo lag ba ye kin sofun egba to eko duro egba to eko duro magbe we wole tita bo ba tito magbe ki omele ron uje gun amala shoba eko wa kisa magbe ki wong dipe wong alo ba we jemo e lowo wa ishe lo be lati bere and especially ron to tigba we tell le please emma agba advice all the time e yin te den gbe we wole funra yin te ti overstate en gbe we wole funra yin please please be careful there is no way you can be an expert to deal with matters of that kind. Immigration is very complex. Immigration law is very complex, and it changes from time to time. So I would like to encourage you. Emma, what careless? When when is the banshee? 
Egba advice, Egba imono. And that is the only way forward to assist yourself in anything that you are doing. When you get proper advice, then you can move on smoothly into the next stage of your life. Tiwe Egba, you want to go be, then you could turn be. You could turn be. So, Boshe Jenny, I think I am a bit getting tired now. I think I'm getting tired. So, much try to in the studio, even though it's by the studio, like that, but studio is from this space, not my body. So, I want to appreciate every one of you. I want to applaud you. You are so, so important to me. Thank you so much for your support. But I don't know how people manage to stay here two hours. I will. I am tired. I can't. There is no way I can do that two hours anymore. It is very tiring. So, I want to tell you guys, I love you guys for your help and your assistance for sharing my program. It's talking about like by a major joke in Jasha, big guy, way big, and I'm sorry, Lori, from time to time. So please share it on your wall. Please share it. You see, I want to do one kind of gift. Every person that shares my program all the time, at the end of the year, I am going to go into their names and start writing it down now from every week, every time. Martin she program me here. But I want to share a program me here. Mo febes ni maran kafu on every Christmas. Me o defi she gbedaga. Instead of giving my things to ordinary person, to can share. I want to share, share, share. If I get one million, God will provide for my needs. Because Joseph has that confidence that God will always provide for his needs. So all those who always share my program, who always like my program, who always love my program, who always recommend me, by sharing it, you have already recommended me. I am going to give you a fantastic gift at the end of the year. And that's the Christmas present for this year. It's not just going to be for anybody anyhow. This year, I want to focus on those who share my program all the time. And you know, fed that long, Lord, do you? And you know, funny gifts. You could then she shing up my be sweet, that be chocolate on her kitty. Own jaggedy and congedy, tabash or shed to see him do win. And cut a cold wash one, or the mofera for me. You know, I drink, I call Benny, I won't call old Benny, I won't cut all that, or Benny like to open a likey. Old Mumara for this 2018, to all those who like my program, who share it, I want to encourage you because you are helping others. That is what you have. To help others who have not heard about this so i i encourage you phone office i'm going to be um open to public from every monday and thursday from 7 30 in the morning every monday and thursday in my she sit at 7 30 mama she office so until then lossy be share at the time for the early part of our bami that's why by more for family to fair water to fair dad to better fellow set to pass nigeria to better fair by way to fair mama waka way to better fair be more anything even investment in nigeria you can still come and see me about it because you know i i am doing it there so i can encourage you i can i can control things for you i can handle it for you i can represent you as a solicitor of the supreme court of england and Wales in england so i am not just immigration lawyer i am a solicitor and i can put my head out at any time because i have insurance and i have certificates that covers me thank you guys i love you so, love you so much happy new year to all of you 07908 628 